So our fabrics here, we developed for the Hong Kong market, are very extremely light, extremely light fabrics. We also have a lot of cooling in them as well. So we've actually created a collection just for the hot climates in the world, like Hong Kong and Singapore, the two key important markets. So when you come in, come into the stores in Asia, you very much will get garments developed for the Asian customers. I was a professional athlete. Um, I was a professional triathlete. I was a world champion at one stage uh, in triathlons. So I started off. I started off in there, and I, I, I actually studied economics at university. Um, but then, but then, basically, basically, when I, when I retired, um, I actually joined a sportswear company in New Zealand, and I joined in the finance team. And then, within six weeks, I got really bored of finance. <laughs> And, um, and, and, and basically, I, 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 I was promoted to doing a, a very small job in developing new products. And within six weeks, I was leading that team. Um, and, then, and then within three years, that company tripled in sales. So right, right from the very start, I, I love fabrics. Um, I love technology. And being an athlete, I actually understand what the athlete actually really, really wants. And over the last 15 years, I've gone out of my way to learn about fabrics in a, in a like I have no diverse of fabrics whatsoever, but I now, I now lecture throughout the world on sports fabrics. Um, so I learned a lot over the years. So, so basically my, my background was being an athlete. I developed a knowledge in fabric technology. And even to today, I still race at a very high level in triathlons. And even this morning, I went for a swim and a bike ride this morning, trying out our products for our collection next year. So I'm always trialing it, new products, new chemis and cycling shorts, new fabrics. And while I'm in Hong Kong, I particularly try out garments that are, that are made for the heat. I think the biggest challenge with growing a company is people. Okay. It's finding the right people in your business. I mean, I think, you know, people that are passionate, uh, people that actually love sports are a really important part of business too. But finding people um, all over the world is very, very hard. And I think, you know, we're, um, you know, obviously we're based down in Australia and, and now we have, we have offices and we have offices for our company in Australia, New Zealand, USA, Canada, Japan and the UK. So finding good people in those offices is very, very hard. And I think the biggest challenge has been is finding good people. The second biggest challenge too is finding good distributors.